welcome to today's episode of the Declutter Hub podcast, your channel for super easy, no-nonsense advice on how to declutter and organise your home. Please welcome your hosts, professional organisers Ingrid Jansen and Leslie Spellman. Hello and welcome listeners to episode 118 of the Declutter Hub podcast. I'm Ingrid. And I'm Leslie. If you have clutter and want to sort it out, this is the show for you. In today's episode, Leslie and I are talking about how 2021 is going to be different. And it is the 1st of January today. So happy new year to you, Leslie, and to all our listeners. Happy new year, Ingrid. How are you? Yeah, I'm really, really good. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Excited about 2021, in fact. I know. We've got we've got lots of plans, haven't we? We've got lots of things that we are going to do and that we have set ourselves that we want to accomplish this year. So it's going to be another big year for us, isn't it? We have set our goals in true Declutter Hub style, haven't we, Ingrid? We've set our goals And now it's over to you guys to set yours. And that's what today is going to be all about, isn't it? Yes, because let's be realistic. 2020 was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? (laughs) I know. I'm glad to see the back of it. I know it's always going to be the year that was really rubbish. But let's not dwell on that. Let's talk about 2021. I think an awful lot of people have got a lot of hope about 2021, haven't they? And that's quite nice. Yeah. Well, that's good because we we deserve it and we need it. And I think I'm just so happy that we were able. I mean, so many people say when they listen to our podcast, they're like, oh, you're like my my bright spark of the day. I love listening to you guys. You're always so positive. And I'm really glad in 2020 we were able to to keep that up and bring so much laughter and fun and and hopefully a bit of lighthearted entertainment because the culture is hard enough as it is that we could continue that but I must say I'm kind of glad that we got 2020 now done now it's all about 2021 yes yeah, so hopefully let's hope for a better year because I think we all deserve it <laughs> we definitely do And I want to talk a little bit. I don't want to go too much about how rubbish 2020 was, because we all know that. (laughs) We don't need to sit here and say that. But I think in terms of decluttering, it was generally quite a positive year. Now, for some people, people saw the opportunity to do something with their homes. They were in their homes much more than normal, much more than they would want to be surrounded by clutter. So a lot of people were like, right, I'm going to set to and I'm going to do something about my house. Now, for some people that was decluttering and organizing. For other people that was renovations, a huge bumpy year for renovations in 2020 because people really wanted their homes to be nice and a nice place to be because they were in them so much more. So there was no escape from them. So you really needed to make sure that your home was your sanctuary and it reflected exactly what you wanted it to be. Now, some people got to the end of 2020 on all those hopes and dreams that they had back in March, April, May time, when we were right at the start of the kind of lockdown season, let's call it, had great intentions, but it didn't quite happen. And so we now have then another opportunity in 2021 to really think, to reframe those goals and to make sure that this year, that kind of positive focus and energy on our homes is actually going to happen. Yeah, I think so too. And of course, you know, I mean, on the 1st of January, a lot of people do make New Year's resolutions, right? It's kind of, it's the start of a new year. It's kind of, okay, right. What happened in the past is now behind us. What's the plan for this year? I'm going to, and then you get a whole plethora of things that I want to do. I'm going to do a a dry January. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to eat better this year. You know, all of those things that we all say on the 1st of January, this is what I'm going to do this year. It's it's a lot. You know, we 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 I see people who have like lists of all these things that I want to do. And I'm like, okay, that's that's a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're not averse to a New Year's resolution. In fact, we embrace New Year's resolutions, don't we? Because it's a it's a way to sort of put a mark in the sand almost and move forward from that. But what we're saying is 
be realistic about those resolutions, aren't we? And make sure that they're actually achievable. Now we talk about goals all the time, don't we? The Declutter Hub. And we really wanted to to talk a little bit about that today to make sure that you, what you're going to set out to do on the 1st of January, you're actually going to be able to achieve so you don't feel worse at the end of 2021 than you feel today when you're full of hope and excitement really for the future. Yeah, and I love your saying. I mean, you normally always say this, when you always do what you've always done, nothing is going to change. So you need to do things differently if you want 2021 to be different. Yeah, you're right. And it's interesting. So where do we, are we Are we going to have to sort of fight for our supremacy as decluttering being the number one resolution <laughs> that people go, no, forget about losing weight and being healthy and all that. We want you to focus on decluttering first of all. <laughs> we want you to do everything, but we know how hard it is to focus on multiple things at once. I think our experience is that if you focus on one thing at a time, the rest kind of has a habit of following on, doesn't it? Particularly the health and the weight and the embracing a different kind of lifestyle or a more positive outlook. If your home is a happy home that you want to be in, in general, the other things will follow as a matter of course, won't they? That is so true. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't realize that actually when you start to declutter and organize your home, the other things come. And that's what you see, in, I think, in our membership, with our members who've been with us, who, who take out the yearly membership. In the beginning, they focus on the decluttering and organizing, which, of course, is fabulous. But then later in their journey, they're like, oh, wow, actually, all of those pennies are dropping here. I am changing. I am more mindful when I shop. I do feel, because I'm not losing time searching for stuff all the time, I can now put in a walk every day that I've never, that I've always planned to do, but I never got around because I was always chasing my tail. Huh. I actually feel that I'm shopping better because I know far better what I need than just kind of going to the shops and going, I'm just going to randomly buy some stuff because I know exactly what's in my wardrobe. I no, I want to shop for a black top or I want to need, I need to have a nice uh, pattern skirt or anything like that. But also food wise as well, I have a far better handle of what is in my pantry and what's in my freezer. And I, I'm now trying to meal plan a little bit. I make a list when I go shopping. I waste less food. It's these all these far reaching things that start to happen because the home is more decluttered and organized. And I think that is, I think, so wonderful to see when people are decluttering. Well, I think your home is the foundations on which everything else can build, isn't it, is the bottom line. Yeah. And we know that because you have to feel comfortable in your home. That's where you entertain your family, you do your hobbies, you eat dinner, you entertain people, you know, so it really is fundamental to everything else that's going on isn't it mm -hmm. I wanted to talk about one of our members actually Sue and Sue came on the podcast last year so you will probably towards the tail end of last year you probably listened to Sue on the podcast and she's talked about an interesting shift in her mindset she's been a member with us for over a year now hasn't she mm -hmm. and she she feels that she's still got a long way to go in terms of the decluttering and organizing of her home but she's starting now to shift into that kind of what about me? What do I want to be? Because we talk a lot in the Declutter Hub about your home, your things, the things that you gather around you have to reflect the current you. And so she's really, okay, well, I've done the basics, but now I'm really starting to think about what is the current me? And so it's that mindset shift that we talk about. And so she's gone through the basics. She's been able to kind of come up for air a little bit, if you will. And now she's really been able to focus on, but what's next? What's the 2021 me? And I think that's really, really interesting, isn't it? So just jumping back to what we were talking about before, it's really critical to get your home right. So on that basis, we are going to try and trump ourselves and put us as number one on your New Year's resolution list, aren't we, Ingrid? Yes, of course, because of course it's the new year. So we are doing a challenge, of course, at the beginning of the year. We want you to come on board on this decluttering wagon. We want you to join us because we want you to kick off 2021 with a bang and go, right, I am going to put decluttering on the forefront. This is important to me. 
And what better way to start than to start with a, with a challenge? So it is the 1st of January now. And on Monday, we are starting a five-day Reset Your Home challenge. We absolutely love it because we see the light bulbs going off. We see the changes. We see the, oh, wow, I had never looked at it from this way before. We've had fantastic success with our Reset Challenge before, and we can't wait to do it again and to inspire you to a fantastic start in, in, in this new year. But you know, we like to start our challenges on a Monday. And when we were planning this, we were like, oh, what's the first Monday in January? Oh, it's the fourth. That's quite soon, isn't it? And so you really are going to have to try and avoid that procrastination and get stuck in on Monday. So that's soon, isn't it? Barely have you got over the New Year's celebrations and we're going to be straight in with that challenge on Monday. So do join up straight away so you don't miss out. Come and join us in the fun. And I agree with you, Leslie. It suddenly is like really quickly. I haven't even taken my tree down yet. My tree's still there. So it's probably going to be a bit up a bit longer than normal because we're going to be focusing on the challenge and start with lots of decluttering fun and laughter. And it is. it always makes me laugh. Everybody's like, decluttering, is that actually fun? Yes, it is. Trust us. We have, we do, we always do, you know, really nice lives where we have lots of laughter and everybody's like, oh, wow. I really enjoy listening to the two of you. Just like I am on the podcast. You are really like that in the lives as well. And we're like, yes, we're exactly the same. So let's start off 2021 with a brilliant decluttering challenge. I love it. I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait to get started. And so we just wanted to cover a couple of the things that we that we talk about in that challenge and just reiterate the importance of them really. So before you get before you get started, a little bit of preparation to do before Monday. I want you to think about a couple of things. So number one, we all, we talk about kindness. Now we're not going to go into it in too much detail here because we're going to talk about it on Monday. But what we want you to do is don't worry about what went before. New Year's resolutions are all about wiping the slate clean and starting from scratch again and, and moving forward. The important thing is that we we put a stake in the ground and we say, right, that was then, and now we're own, we can only go forward. The only way is up. And that's what we're aiming for. So be kind to yourself. Don't berate yourself over how bad you were in the past or I've been like this for years. It doesn't matter. What's important is that we're moving forward. So be kind to yourself. Number one important thing we and maybe we'll put that higher than decluttering be <laughs> kind to yourself the 2021 can go as number one can't say and declutter your house can go as number two are we are we are we are we happy with that Ingrid I think so I think because you know we get emails all the time right from from our members of course but also from people who are in our Facebook group and they're like oh I've only done this one thing and I'm like well, you've done something that is really positive. So celebrate that win. Be kind to yourself. You've you know you've moved that step forward. And this is a this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. If you've had like a, a messy house for a very, very long time, you're not gonna have a super tidy, super organized duper house in at the end of January. You know, it's gonna take a bit of time, but it starts exactly what you're saying, Leslie. It starts by being kind to yourself and going, okay. New year, new me, I'm going to look at this positive and every step forward that I'm going to make is a positive one. Will you have a, a day that you think, oh, I can't be bothered. This is like too hard. Yes, that's normal. That is part of, you know, you can't always move towards it. But sometimes you kind of day off, you know, I mean, it, that's normal. We're all humans, you know, so don't think that because you're going to start doing this challenge on Monday, you're going to be decluttering every day of the whole of 2021. That's not the plan. That is definitely not the plan. You're so right, Ingrid. Absolutely. That's not the plan. We want to do this in a kind of slow, methodical way, don't we? So that we actually achieve it and achieve those wins. One of the other things that we talk about in the challenge is traces. And so this is an interesting one, really, because we've talked already about us being number one or number two and what comes lower and things, you know, and so we're, we're automatically saying you need to make choices about what you're doing here and they need to be the right choices for you. And so I guess the important thing is if you're here, how high on your list is decluttering your home? We believe that it's the foundation for everything else. You need to choose to make that difference. You need to choose to prioritize decluttering and organizing your home. Only you can make that choice. And so 
a lot of people say, oh, it's not a choice. You know, there are a lot of people out there that have got lots of things standing in their way of achieving what they want to choose. You know, med- mental health issues, physical health issues, all of those kind of things conspire against us to take choices away from us. And we're well aware of that. But we can do things in a small way and we can try So choose to try. If you can't choose to just do it, it's not as simple as that. We completely get that. But choose to try to focus on decluttering for this year. We're going to talk a lot more about choices, aren't we, next week? Exciting. I'm excited already. I know. It's only three days away. I can't wait for the challenge. And we're going to have our first kickoff session on the Sunday evening already. So, ooh. We're on the countdown, on the countdown to start a new challenge, and it's going to be really good and fun. And the thing is, we are going to celebrate those wins, those small wins that are going to give you that pat on the back. And one small win will lead to the next small win. And that's how you can see that decluttering can be very, very positive. And we're going to focus on what are we going to keep instead of what are we going to declutter? And I think that's really important in finding those things that you love and want and need in your house. And so you can actually then spend the time doing the stuff that you want to do. And I think that's going to be a fantastic goal for 2021. I think the important message really is, you know, just jumping back to my little phrase that I love all the time, which is if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. My advice to you would be come with us on this journey. Let's do it together. You know, a lot of people, you if you're if you're in our Facebook group, if you've done one of our challenges before, if you're in our membership, the thing that is more clear than anything else is that doing it with a like-minded community of people who are all going through a similar thing is absolutely critical to success. Ingrid and I will guide you, the rest of the members will guide you, and you will be in a like-minded community of people. And that is the important thing. Come with us and we can fix this for you. So having said that, Ingrid, I'm going to completely put you on the spot now and say, what's your 2021 New Year's resolution? <laughs> well, I think my first New Year's resolution is actually to go on holiday this year, Leslie. <laughs> You are resolved to go on holiday. Uh, well, that's I it. Really Do you think want... that's in your control? Um, I, I know, but I really, <laughs> really hope to see my family. I mean, all my family is in the Netherlands. And of course, I live in London. So I really miss them. Of course, I didn't go home over Christmas. So I was really sad about that. Of course, I've seen them on Zoom and we did Zoom parties and Zoom bingo and, and all of those things. But yeah, it would be really nice to to give my mom and my dad a very, very big cuddle as soon as I can. So as soon as some sort of quarantine rules are lifted, I am choof, I am in that car. I will probably drive back and forth within two days and just kind of kind of go, I need to hug you. <laughs> so um yeah, that's going to be, I think, for me, very important. Yeah, it's absolutely critical, isn't it? Because it's it's what we do for certainly holidays. I mean, you and I are the same. We're aligned on this, that we love travel and we love holidays and we do that as often as we can. And we that has been slightly curtailed in 2020. So we definitely need to get that um, back in business. But for me, I think it's all about self-care and balance, I think. So I think that general things that were fun, kind of got ripped away from us a little bit, I think, in 2020. Some of the things that I had heavily relied on in the past, going out with my friends. And not I don't just mean going out and drinking and eating. I mean, going out and seeing friends and enjoying getting ready to go out and enjoying the chat the day after about the night. And all of those things are kind of gone. And so whatever we can do to get those back, and if they're not going to come back, then I need to find a different way for, self, to, for self-care and to see my friends and to reproduce that in a different way I think we played a bit of a waiting game particularly the the latter part of 2020 in the UK we've all been a little bit on hold waiting for lockdown to end and then it is we're in we're out we're in we're out we don't know what we're doing (laughs) and so I think you know self-care to me is going to be really critical just to get that balance right I think you know you and I both know in 2020 we probably the balance was skewed too far the other way with work and thankfully we have lovely work like you know, sitting here doing these podcasts, doing our challenges, being in a community. That's what certainly got me through 2020. It was lovely to do mm-hmm. that, but it's still still really important for me to 
reconnect with family and friends in the way that I have done in the past. At the start of lockdown, I did really well on walking every day. So that's fallen a bit by the wayside because, of course, the kids have come back. I walk with my daughter in the, in the first part of lockdown every day. So I really need to up my game on that and not just go for one bicycle ride in a week. I really need to do get that back into my planning system is just to do a bit more exercise. So, but that's, I, I find that hard. I find it hard because, you know, there's always so many other things to do. So it needs to become a priority. Definitely. Definitely. So that is it. So we, we are allowing then be kind to yourself as number one, closely followed by decluttering your house as number two. <laughs> is that what we're saying? Of course it is. We love decluttering. <laughs> and otherwise, what are we going to talk about? I mean, this whole podcast is about decluttering and we love it. So thank you to everybody who has been with us through this. You know, we've been doing, done doing the podcast now for 117 episodes. This is episode 118. I mean, it's been absolutely phenomenal, but we are just so appreciative. You're still sticking with us and you're listening in every week and that you're enjoying it and that you're giving us such wonderful reviews. So if you're listening and you think, oh, I've never done that before. I actually want to give Leslie and Ingrid a review. Please feel free to do so. We love reading them, but it's also really good for us if, if people leave reviews because that means that more people will find our podcast. So thank you so much for listening today. We wish you a wonderful 2021, a very, very happy new year. Please come and join us. We can't wait to see you in the challenge. And of course, if you would like to have more handy tips and advice, check out our Facebook group, the Declutter Hub community. If you don't want to miss this next uh, podcast, just subscribe to the Declutter Hub podcast in your podcast player, and it will pop into your notifications each Friday. So thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of the Declutter Hub podcast. Check out declutterhub.com for more inspiration and don't forget to tune in next week.